we're going to start out the show tonight with our novice bodybuilding division. Our true novice bodybuilders, that means it's the first time they're stepping on stage. So make a lot of noise for these competitors. And please welcome our first competitor, number 15, Justin Holland. So long, I've been stuck in my ways. Just somehow I know I need a change. Today is finally here. It is it. It is show day. So I'm about to fix my hair. So let's do it. Three, two, one. All done. And I don't know if you guys could tell what I've done at like four o'clock this morning, but I got hungry when I woke up at like four this morning. So um, I went downstairs and I'm gonna let JC get a shower. I went downstairs and I had two rice cakes with about two servings of strawberry jam and I also had about one serving of tilapia so now it is time yeah I was pretty hungry it's four o'clock now it's like six o'clock so I'm about to go downstairs and get finished getting all tanned up my name is now Juan <laughs> man all tanned up hopefully now I'm ready to go everybody's here yeah I got a little vein so um we're all ready hopefully I'm nice and dark and tan I look like Juan and we're about to throw this sweatshirt on I look like I'm going to beach in Alaska I got a sweatshirt sweatpants and flip-flops so we're about to roll out and go get some pancakes somewhere so I will catch up with you guys whenever we decide where we're gonna go eat. We're not going to IHOP, are we? Oh. Circle G. C circle G. I don't know. So we'll, it's, it's not the Circle K, so it's Circle G. So. Mm -hmm. Charlotte. Right. Yeah, we're, we're in the center. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Get a book. What I'm gonna have for my breakfast right before it's like 7, 15, 7, 30. We're on the way to the show. I have three egg whites and then I have three pancakes here. delicious. And I'm gonna use, not water, sugar syrup, wherever, right here. I'm gonna use sugary syrup on my pancakes. So I'm about to dig in, oh, it's gonna be so good. So I haven't ate since I had that rice cakes and tilapia at 4 a.m. So. I'm about to have three pancakes, buttered up, and then three egg whites. Yum yum in my tum tum. Shady. Have a great day too. I think it was one on the left right across the building there. One here, but I think it's too far around. Yeah. Let's go left. So I'm in here and I'm walking in now and we're gonna go in and it's like 8 o'clock and the athletes meeting is at 8.30 so right now I'm about to head to the athletes meeting so I will catch up with you guys when we get out of the athletes meeting. Who's got the tickets? And then we'll do your mandatory poses. Same process, shift you around, move you around if necessary. Do some more poses. Once that class is off, you'll come off stage. So we just finished up with the meeting. The, we're backstage. And I just drank my basically shot of like 2.4 milligrams or 2.4 gram, grams of sodium. And now it's like 9.20. It's like 9.20 right now. 
and men's bodybuilding, men's open bodybuilding, which is one of the classes I'm doing, is first at 10 a.m. So I got about 40 minutes, and I'm about to have a big Reese cup. And then after that, since I'm doing Novice as well, it's my first show. Novice is actually after Open, so that's going to be good. I'll get a practice run with Open, and then I get to go back home with Novice. But it'll pretty much be bang, bang. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this up, and I think I'll be pretty much ready. I'll also get the, I'll also get the pump up here in about probably 25, 20 to 30 more minutes. I'll get to start pumping up. That's why I'm going ahead and getting everything in my, in my belly. Mm. Good. What's up? Alright. Not right now. But straight to my car going. Uh, going yeah. to and, uh, no bloating today. No blood. No blood. Yeah. Let's sit back here. Yeah, let's sit back here. Alright, cool dude. Well, good luck, man. We'll see you in a second. Alright. All right, good morning. Welcome to the 2017 Mid-Atlantic Classic Championships. I want to welcome everybody here this morning. Get ready to start our pre-judging. Next up is going to be our men's open middleweight. It's 154 and a half to 176 and a quarter. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. And quarter turn to the right. Front double bicep. Relax. Front lat spread. Relax. Side chest, either side. Relax, side tricep, either side. Relax, turn and face the curtain, gentlemen. One calf back, double bicep. And relax, one calf back, lat spread. Relax, turn and face the judges. Both hands over your head, abdominal pose, one leg extended. Relax, your favorite most muster, guys. And relax. Okay, Gabe, you're gonna take him to the side of the stage. Let's nice follow Gabe over there. Have our second group, come on out, gentlemen. Come on out. If I could have 21 and 23 step up into the center here. 20. Yep. Stay right on this side over here, 23. Come on down this way a little bit. 21, step over. 18, 17, 15. Join the line, just step to your left, 21. There you go. You're good right there. Front double bicep. And 
and relax. Front lat spread. Relax, side chest, either side. Relax. You could, uh, Gabe, if you could take 15 right here between 20 and 21, please. Side tricep, either side. Go get a 15. Relax, turn and face the curtain, gentlemen. One calf back, double bicep. Relax, one calf back, lat spread. Relax, turn and face the judges. We'll have one more front double bicep, please. And relax, abdominal and thigh. Favorite most muscular guys. And relax. All right, thank you. Let's hear from middleweights, gentlemen. You can follow off stage. Next up is our true novice. First time on stage for these competitors, our true novice class. So there we have it. I just got off stage. I did open first and then the true novice class. So I guess we, I think I've done pretty decent as far as hitting all my poses. I was balanced. I didn't like come off balance on my feet. Uh, the only thing is on the side poses, I can't, I can't squeeze my glutes. I still don't know. I don't know. I just can't get that down. So, but everything else, I feel like I held it in place. I got it in place pretty good. So I guess we'll, uh, I don't know, we're going to probably go get something to eat and then we'll come back tonight for my, my routine and the finals later on tonight. And actually tonight I get to have my, I get to go out on stage with my stick and glasses for my routine. So, so that'll be pretty cool. But um, yeah, we're probably going to gather everybody up here in a few minutes and then go get something to eat because that's pretty much it. I'm going to go have some pretty decent food. I'm uh, pretty exhausted, but I feel pretty good though. I still feel overall conditioned pretty well. I mean, I could be leaner, but for my first show, I think I've done all right. So, uh, you know, I catch up with you guys when we go and, you know, gather everybody up and figure out what we're going to go get some eat. Go get it eat. Definitely. Uh, we need to decide when we're going to eat. Well, y'all pick. You got to pick a place before you can find it. I don't care. The pizza's right up here in the corner. You want to do pizza? I can do pizza. We decided to come to Fuel Pizza, the healthiest place in Charlotte. So, um, what <laughs> what I'm gonna have is two slices of pepperoni pizza, and yeah, so that's gonna be super high in sodium, and of course, high in fat, high in everything, just super high calories. And I'm pretty sure, like, after I eat this, it's like probably like 11. What time is it? Like 11. It's like 11:30 right now, and I don't get I don't get back on stage until like at least six. So I have plenty of time for this to digest, and I'll probably look. In all honesty, I might look better tonight after eating this crappy food. I might look, you know, more pumped up and and better tonight. But um, yeah, I'm not really worried about it. So this is what I'm going to eat, and I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be delicious because I'm starving. So. Alrighty guys, so we just finished up and instead of eating two pieces of pizza, I had uh, four pieces of pizza and a cinnamon roll, but I'm still, I'm still good and uh, I had that and some water and I'm pretty tired right now and I think we're going to just leave the car parked here because it's actually cl like closer than we parked before, so we're going to leave the car here and then just walk back to the, the theater where the competition is being held, so I'm about to grab my bag out of the car 
and then start walking back with everyone. Five sixty-seven and five sixty-two. Switch sides, please. Five sixty-seven, five sixty-two. Just kind of chilling outside of Starbucks. It's now four o'clock. So here in about one more hour, I actually got to go backstage again for the athletes' meeting for the evening, the finals. And I'm about to have this this croissant little thing with chocolate inside of it. It's going to be scrum diddly umptious. So I'm about to eat this up and um, you know just sip on some water. So it's going to be really good. And I'm gonna start kind of preparing and getting, you know, getting my body and physique back ready for the stage here in about two hours is when I'll be back on stage. So I have two hours to kind of, you know, get get my physique prepared and everything and all ready to pump back up for the evening show in the finals and my routine. So we're just gonna sit out here and relax for about another hour and then I'm going to head in for the uh, second athletes meeting for the finals tonight. Just got a call. Just finished up with the 5 p.m. meeting and now we shall wait and get prepared. I think I'll be pretty much one of the first ones going on. It'll be junior and then novice or teen and then novice. So I'm going to be going on novice and doing my routine. So stay tuned for the routine. Okay, Reese, go. I'll take that. Thanks, sir. Yeah. All right, turn around. And we're going to start out the show tonight with our novice bodybuilding division. Our true novice bodybuilders have been it's the first time they're stepping on stage. So make a lot of noise for these competitors. And please welcome our first competitor, number 15, Justin Collins. great out there you won't believe how many people came out to see you dude you got the whole family here I know it's cool ain't it yeah you did great dude the pictures look awesome really? yeah Justin Holland. that's me thank you all right I got you it's hey, Philip congratulations Williams. I'll send you a text, you man. All right, man. Great work. Thank you. You too. Oh. Stop. Gotcha. <laughs> So there it was. That was the day of the competition. It is obviously a different day right now. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the results. I did not place. I did not, you know, win or anything. I didn't even finish top five in either of my classes. I did open and true novice. And the true novice I was very confused about because even if you listen to the you know the guy announcing, he says, you know, true novice is the first time you compete, first time you're on stage. And I know one of the guys, you know, one of the guys that I talked to backstage that was in true novice said he's competed in classic physique, says he's compete you know, he's he's competed in NPC before. So that really threw me off. And another thing that threw me off with the true novice class is if you look, I, I know I didn't show that posing 
um, while I was on stage because I didn't want to make this video too too long. I just showed you the open posing, but there was no age, there was no age um, age class, and there was no weight class online when I signed up. It said there was a weight class in True Novice. It was 176 and below, which would be lightweight, lightweight, which would obviously be me, and then 176 and above, which would be heavyweight. But one of the guys I think that placed in the True Novice class was 198 pounds. And that, that's a huge difference. You know, I'm, I weighed probably 170-ish on stage, and he was, uh, you know, 200, 200 pounds plus. So there was no weight classes or age classes with the novice, which that really threw me off. But the one I showed you guys was the open, and I'm sure, you know, there was 11 guys in that class, and I'm sure they were all very, very, very stacked and had great physique. So not going to lie, I was, I, I was disappointed that I did not end up placing. I really wanted to place in at least one of the classes that I competed in. Um, it, it, it really did disappoint me. And then, uh, you know, I, I don't know, it, it kind of got to me. And then, you know, the experience was, the overall experience though, was it was truly amazing, especially in the morning. You know, I went out on stage, I was not really that nervous, and then I got out there and I loved it. Like, I just, I really loved the experience, the overall experience. And, you know, even though I didn't place, I had an amazing time, especially, you know, my overall, my favorite part of the whole competition had to be the, the, the finals. When I came out on stage with my stick and my glasses, because, uh, you know, you hear the, the, the guy announcing the first the first uh, routine of the whole entire night so the first you know i was the first routine of the whole entire night so to kick the whole show off to kick the finals off i came out you know with my stick and you know i think it went i went i think it went really really good um i almost you know to me you know I, i've told you guys this before but this all means so much to me is it's much more than just a bodybuilding competition um, it's, it's been what I've, I've went to since I started losing my vision and so it means it means a whole lot more to me than just some little competition and that's why I really wanted to do good but you know even though I didn't place I still had an amazing experience and I almost got like you see me when I go out on stage I almost got emotional walking out on stage because you know the, the, everybody started cheering and you know it, it just it truly means so much to me to be able to go out there and still be able to do these things and to, to, to still be able to do what I love even though I can't see and even though that the past year and a half I've you know been through something life-changing so that is the results of the competition I can I can honestly say that right now you know I have you know I came home that night and I we went to Outback and I got a big old juicy burger and some fries and some onion rings and then I came home and um, ate some homemade banana pudding. I probably had half the pan of the banana pudding. So I've been eating a lot so uh, it, it feels good to just be able to eat. It's like I, I, know I woke up and I was like what can I eat and I was like you know I honestly don't even know how to eat unhealthy. It's kind of crazy but um, I hope you all enjoyed this. I can't thank you guys enough for you know everybody that's shown me support and you know helped me. Uh, you know, there's there's been so many people that's reached out to me just to try to help me in any way that they can. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have shown me support. I appreciate it so, so much. And I can honestly say that I cannot wait until next year because I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty set on doing a, another competition next year. Right now is the Balkan period. I'm going to try to put on some mass. But next year, guys, we're definitely going to be doing another competition probably around the same time that way it'll give me time to put on a little bit of size and um, yeah so I, ca I can't wait I love the experience I loved being backstage I loved being I really loved being on stage the adrenaline just flexing the crowd it was it was it was just awesome I you know I love the experience and the overall competition was pretty awesome especially you know being on stage walking out there the crowd going crazy uh, it's it's there's nothing else like it so uh, yeah, so that that was the video. That was the competition. We didn't place, but it is all okay. I had a, an amazing time, an amazing experience. I met a few people, and you know, I, I got some phone numbers. I'm going to be working out with some people. So really awesome experience. And you know, like I said, thank you guys so so much for all of the support and the love that you guys have shown me over this 22 week prep and over this past year, a little over a year of me starting this YouTube channel. So thank you guys so so much. And, you know, if you did enjoy this competition, this show day footage, please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. If it is your first time stopping in on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. 
what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you have the alert notifications clicked because we are going to have some more awesome content. There's going to be one more Shredding Sightless video coming out, so stay tuned. There's going to be a finale video when I get it edited up, so stay tuned for that. And guys, thank you all so, so much for watching, and keep getting stronger.